Another week of fast pitch action included the June Hustle and the Fun in the Sun tournaments. Welcome to Eastern PA and NJ News. I'm Michelle Roberts. We have all your results here and we'll honor the team of the week. Let's begin at the June Hustle New Jersey locations. In Gosha, New Jersey, the Hickory Hornets won the 12 Open Championship 12 to nothing versus SJ Heat. And in 14 Open, Jersey Shore Barracudas took the title over SJ Lady Bulls 10 to three. On to West Hampton, New Jersey, the Edge Elite blanked New Jersey Breakers in the 18 Open final. In 16 Open, Pegasus Black fell to Edison Angels 8 to two. Down in 12 Open, Jersey and Tennessee were named champs and Cherry Hill Wild were finalists. Moving east to Quakertown, Pennsylvania, the Blue Thunder put up 12 runs to defeat SWAT in 12 Open. The Lehigh Valley Patriot Flames won 7-2 over NW Explosion. In Forks, Pennsylvania, the Northern Valley Cyclones defeated Pocono Pride Red by 10. At the Night Owl Series, the Thunder bested the Lions in 14 Open. On to Collegeville, Pennsylvania, the Tri-County Thunder won big over the Valley Regional Warriors in the 16 Open Final. And Lehigh Valley Phantoms edged PA Strikers 12-4 in 18 Open. In Reading, Pennsylvania, NW Explosion topped Lady Stormers by 2 in 12B, and Triple Threat Lightning were the 14B champions over Crunch Blue. Lastly, at the Fun in the Sun at Hale Finical Park, the NEFPA Wolfpack were victorious over NW Explosion 14-1 in 14B. This week, we are honoring a team that has played USA since it began in Eastern PA and NJ. This team has developed into wonderful young ladies and athletes, and we are very thankful for their continued support. The Northern Valley Cyclones, led by Rachel Madero, are a class act who always shows sportsmanship, pride, humbleness, strength, and support. They live the saying, practice hard, play hard. We are so honored to have them as a part of our USA family and can't wait to see what this season has in store for them. Thanks for joining us for Eastern Pennsylvania and New Jersey News. Next week, we'll have coverage from the Father's Day Classic, which will be the last weekend of play before state championships begin. Good luck and see you next week. Okay.